What's up everybody, we're back with more Until Dawn uh, I think this is episode 4, no episode 5 Or something like that, of Until Dawn Came through last episode uh, Jess was in some trouble And we managed to save her for now But let's continue Previously Until Dawn I mean like most steps in the race boys Oh shit, yeah, that happened Lot of things. None of them nice. Oh, quit it. <laughs> Here's our one way ticket to the spirit realm. I've just been through enough spooking for one night, okay? I see a hot bath in my crystal ball. So have fun. Oh, you do this? Oh, that's pretty brutal. <laughs> Jessica! Oh my god. Oh my god. There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest, but his whereabouts are currently unknown. You know, there is still the old sanatorium on the mountain. Could he be hiding there? This is where we're headed. Okay, we'll play this mic. Into the sanatorium. It's pretty spooky. Damn it. Kind of looks like the asylum in Outlast. Alright. Let's get a closer look. Oh, okay. That's probably not the smartest idea, but I don't know, who cares? We have nothing else to do. We'll probably die either way, so let's go for it. Okay, there's probably like a totem around here. Oh yeah, I remember there is a totem. I think it's over here. Yeah, it is by the gate. I'm gonna try to make it find as many totems as I can. I think there's a trophy for it. I enjoy trophy hunting. I'm not very good at it. But if I, if I like a game and it's not a really difficult platinum, I will go for the platinum. Oh. Okay, we're mad in the mines. That's not till later though. I think it's like chapter 10. Alright. We go. Jimmy Sowell's lair. What's fucking noises? I still don't know who that is. It's not the flamethrower guy, is it? No. I, I, don't, I don't know who it is. I, I think it's the Victor Milgram, like the guy of interest. I think he lives up here or something. Who knows? Oh, fuck me. Issue again. <laughs> right, we're back. Yeah, looks pretty locked. What does that say? Admin. Oh Christ. What's this? Look at that. 
What the fuck does that mean? I don't really care. They have more important things to worry about. Oh shit. Probably should be walking, oh bitch. Should be walking so fast through all this. Probably get killed. Oh fuck no. Morgue. I don't like the sound of that. I don't want to get touched. Dicky wants me to go into the morgue. But what's through here? I still want to know. Yeah, there's this shit over here. What's the camera? It's broken. Okay. What the fuck is happening to that lantern? You see that? Why the fuck would you go down there? You just wouldn't. You wouldn't go down there. I go in here? Oh no. One of those guys actually tried to bite me. I'm going to report to Dr. Bowen. Oh. Hopefully he doesn't have rabies. I don't want rabies. We don't have the gun anymore. I had no ammo anyway, but... Shit. Some pretty spooky sounds. You just wouldn't go down there, would you? The fuck is the shadow doing? These effects. Oh. I'm a Shay, hell yeah. Doesn't matter, just take it. Nice one. We have a weapon. Where the fuck did he just put that? Oh. Okay, that's pretty smart. It's probably what it's for. <laughs> they, they make jeans so you can put machetes onto them. Oh fuck, it's a jump scare. The best jump scare. Probably gonna be like a rat. Oh, sh that's pretty fucked. Shit. Oh, what happened here? You know, it's probably used. Find a lot of clues in here, which is nice. I know if you find all the totems, you get like a cutscene at the end, like a secret cutscene that tells you about kind of story. But I doubt I've, I've, no, I doubt I've got all the tones. What could? Uh, who? who the hell would it... How many days will they keep us here? Well, that's not a clue. Oh shit! What's through here? Uh, more random shit. Four to the number sleepers to be kept away at all costs. Gee, who wouldn't want press snooping around this paradise? Let's go in here first because Oh I want that. How do I get that? Put it there later. Oh yeah, I remember this. This is pretty fucked. Important decision here, I think. Whoa.
Oh, I thought I should have interacted with it, should I? No, I ain't, I ain't interacting with it. I don't think I have to. Do I have to? No, I'm keeping... Basically, you lose your fingers if you... you interact with that. I'm not interacting with it. Just gets better and better. Hopefully I don't have to. I don't think I have to. That's good. But on my first playthrough, I probably was curious. Oh, shit. Ooh. The head. Attacked by inmate. This is nice. I think there's a body that comes out one of these. And it's pretty disgusting. Another clue. Why did he put it out all the way? What's up extra? Certificate. Eaten by attacker. We've uncovered a load of clues. Okay, this is it. Oh fuck! Since I see that, I wouldn't open it. Oh, that is fucking gross. Yeah, take the key card. Okay, let's check this out. Is that the key card? It's a bit like paper. Oh, it is. Nice, I kept my fingers. I almost pressed R2 and interacted with it, because I thought it, you had to lose your fingers, but it's fine. Maybe you shouldn't interact with everything then. But you just don't know what's going to be a trap and what's safe. But fuck it. Fuck me. Oh, that scared me. He's, no, he's nice, he's nice. Oh, that was horrible. How do you not hear me? Surely he knows I'm here. Is this a quaint little psycho crib? Okay, that's where we need to go. What the fuck is that lantern doing? Holy shit. Jesus. Spazzing out a bit. Drop down. Right, back in here. But this time, we have the card to enter. Oh, baby, let's head in. The fuck is that? You can see the lantern, like, holy shit! What the fuck? Why is it doing that? Put that lantern down. It is cursed as shit. Oh, oh fuck! No, I won't hit. Won't hit. It scared me, man. Good boy. Easy boy. Easy. Good boy. Easy. Ah, a good boy. Oh, we tamed it. I'm like a Minecraft player. You know, I tame wolves. Very experienced in that field. So, what have we here? Oh, jacket. Nice. Oh, 
Oh, me want the gun. I want it. Very smart, Mike. Oh yeah. Nice. Is it loaded? You should check if it's loaded. When you go shoot it, there's gonna be nothing in it. Check how many fucking bullets are in it. What are you doing? Whatever. We're gonna die. Much stupid. Mm, yeah, it's kind of open. What the fuck? <laughs> the mechanics. Okay, that's the way out. We shoot the lock off. But there's some stuff over here. Yeah, good boy. You want a bone? Good boy, you want a bone? Not like that, but like, do you want a bone? Uh, or do you want a bone? The stash exposed. Yeah, it was him. They're finding like cigar stubs. But it's him who's been walking around. Here you go. They even want it. Easy, I'm friendly. Boy. Easy. That's a good boy. That's right. Hey. We tamed our doggo. Now we can't get the dog killed, but I'm gonna save the dog. Don't worry, I know how to. Just one choice. Or well, a couple of choices. But one choice will determine if it dies or not. Don't worry, I'll save it. What's oh, this? Fuck. Definitely heard that. And we're wasting ammo. Dog, please follow me. Why is the dog not following me? I don't know. Definitely something around here. Totem, probably. Yeah. Collect all the logs. Some of these terms have really cool designs, like. <laughs> Shit. Blowing up something kills Sam. Drop that fucking lantern. I'd rather walk around in the dark. Oh shit, it was flying about everywhere. Pipes we go. Oh shit, no, that's fuel, isn't it? That's petrol. I think if we, if we shoot it, it's gonna blow shit up. I can't go that way. Oh, I guess we have to. Of course, locked. Well, let's shoot it off. Don't spill it. <laughs> Fucking idiot, man. Okay. I told you. Yeah, you fucking idiot. 
to be lit the whole bitch on fire now. Alright. Well, now we definitely know where we are. Killers on to us. We were playing as Matt. I can't believe Josh is dead. I can't believe how he died. No, I, I mean, what if they were wrong? What? Maybe we should have checked the shed to see if it was really true. I, I don't know. There are some things that once you see them, you can never unsee them. Yeah, I guess, but some things you have to see for yourself. I'll take their word for it. No totem. It probably is. What's this? Well, paint. It's still fresh. Yeah, that's pretty weird. Hey, another totem. Find all the totems. I want to see how much we've actually got, though. Oh yeah, Matt can die in chapter six, but only if you make stupid fucking choices. But I think Max is quite Matt is quite a hard character to keep alive because he could die in a lot of ways. Okay. Oh, we missed a lot of totems. Oh, okay. We left it in the cellar. So we can use it? Yeah, we ain't in good terms of mic. You can have a fight with him. You can like fist fight him, kind of. It's not. It's not a great fight, but it's, you kind of like to go at each other. Max. If you make. Max. Yeah. Fuck yeah. So do I. Take it now. Boom. Oh yeah. Not just a clue. It's a weapon. Fast to use. Oh, what now? This is locked, Matt. We'll break the door down, will ya? Whoa, wait a second. We start smashing shit down, he's gonna hear us. Well, you got any better suggestions? I don't know. What about... Look! What? A window. That's great, Matt. I can just about fit my lip balm through that little slot. Oh, come on. You will never fit through there, big guy. Go on, Emily. Get through. I won't fit, but you will. Are you nuts? You're gonna shove my ass through that little hole? I've seen you slip into some pretty tight jeans, Em. Uh, excuse me? It's a talent. Fine, let's do it. First thing, you've got no bunda. I 
Hey, what the hell was that? What? I'm in the pitch black with spider webs and dust and ugh, you just go wandering off? Em, I just... Don't M me. This is a complete and total breakdown of even the slightest glimmer of trust I might have had that you can protect me from the bad things that are out here. And I'm just majorly bumming out. Oh, em, just stop. I'm really sorry. I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> well, see, you were thinking, for one thing. When you were you, you could have just turned the fucking light on. to Chris and Ash and Josh? He's gotta know this is the only way back. I don't say that. Look, the cable car's all the way out there. Well, that's, I, I mean, that's not far, right? You, you can jump it? <laughs> I'm good, Em. But not that good. Flattered, though. Well, Matt, if you can't jump that, what are we gonna do? I, I don't know. God, everything is, like, so busted up. I think they knew exactly what they were doing. The radio tower. Hey, look! Fire tower. Hey, Magellan, maybe we should get the cable car working and take the show on the road, huh? Oh, important decision here. We can agree with Emily's plan. Or disagree. Now, there's this whole like flare gun situation that is important. It can get Matt and Emily killed. Unfollow. <laughs> Unfollow. Fucking hell. She really is the bitchy character, if you can already tell. Unfollow. A mental hospital. <laughs> Great. That's like totally. Gross? No, just creepy. Need the key. Great. No keys, no cable car. So back to square one. <gasps> what about the fire tower on, on the map you found? Well, I, I guess it's an option. Oh, maybe it has a radio or something. I mean, it, it would, wouldn't it? Probably, yeah. Matt, we gotta get to that radio. Right, this is important. If we agree with Emily's plan, and we go to the radio tower and find a flare gun. If we agree with our plan, we'll just fire that flare gun straight into the sky. But one of us needs to keep the flare gun. If we disagree, you can give Matt the flare gun and he'll keep it. Or you can just give it to Emily and she can save herself from getting bit in the mines. However, she will not die from the bite. So I think it's better to disagree. She'll probably hate us for it, but we're gonna disagree with our plan. Be buff, that's an important decision. Get back to the lodge for now. I mean, everyone, everyone's been split up for so long. Wait, for real? What is it with you and going back to the lodge? You just want to hide out in your room and cry. What? No. It's better than Don't fucking dying. Crazy. We gotta do this, Matt. Fine. Fine. Whatever you say. Okay, either way, we go to the radio tower, but then we can give Matt the flare gun if we want to save him. Oh, shit. Actually, no, that's fine. Oh, we have the option to save Emily if we want to. She'll like us, but it could get us killed. We'll get to it. What's cooking, good looking? Getting us out of here, Mr. Meat for Brains. All right. Should go first to protect me. 
Good night. Okay. Okay, easy now. Okay. All right. Oh my gosh. Okay. Almost. Almost. I'm feeling kind of faint. Don't look down. Whoa. Okay. Okay. Try to run and help her. Holy cannoli, thank God that's over. Yeah, for real. Holy cannoli. <laughs> Unfollow. Yeah, but that that agreement or disagreement with Emmy's plan is an important choice. For later. The radio. It'll work. But okay, if it doesn't, we need a plan. Maybe we can just climb down. Climb down what? The mount. Are you serious? What's the big deal? It, it's not like it's floating in the sky. <laughs> it might as well be. It's pitch black out. Hey. Hopefully we won't have to. You think the psychopath is just gonna give up and run away? No. But maybe we should find a safe spot. Pull up, wait it out. It'll be a lot easier to figure this all out in the morning. As long as we don't hide in the lodge, that's where he expects us to go. Doesn't matter, just lock the doors, hide, grab a weapon, you'll be fine. If you come to the lodge, all seven of you attack him. Or a totem? We like that. Yeah. Okay, right now, Matt's in trouble. We could just not interact with this. Yes, Matt, given the choice, I prefer not to spend my evening plummeting to my death off a snowy cliff top. Okay, yeah, Matt's in trouble here. This is the second character that can die. There is a way to just get out of this. We have to calmly walk through the deer. And that's how we save him. Don't you have a choice to attack them with the axe? You don't want to do that because then you have you're forced into a quick time event. And if you fail that quick time event, he dies. Like you're destroying the totem, he fell and hit his head on the rock and died. And if you keep Emmy alive, she'll find his shoe in the mines later. If you kill Matt. Oh shit. Demonetize this. All right, hot Sam in towel. Let's do it. Sakes, my clothes, really? Whichever one of you did this is off my Christmas list. Seriously, not cool, guys. Not cool at all. What's that? No, the fucking glowing thing. Chris? What's Josh? that? What's that? Well, that's the sock. No, is that is that it? No, that. Whatever. What the hell? Almost a balloon. 
trying not to go that way, but you know, fuck the rules. And explore. But exploring could get me killed. By this Slipknot cosplayer. Oh, hello. Uh, the fact about this game is they I'm had people really... play this game with heart monitors, and whenever. This is really getting out of hand, okay? It was all very funny, haha. -ha. Look at Sam walking well, around in the towel, but now I just. Had really best dad was a film over, director. Right? Like enough? I was saying, um, they had people play this game with a heart monitor, heart rate monitor, and when they thought people relaxed and the, uh, and they thought they were getting too comfortable, they'd put a jump scare in. And when they thought it was getting too Can too I crazy and people were scared, they turned it down a bit. So it's like really balanced, and that's why I feel like the game game's really good. It balanced out that way. Okay, we're up downstairs. I think. Yeah. This house, this lodge is fucking massive, and we found this. Trying to freak me out, guess what? You succeeded. All right. I think Sam's the easiest character to keep alive. Shit, there he is. Hey, guys, come on! Oh, I'm done with this. I really don't appreciate the silent treatment here. Oh. Hello, Samantha. Oh, hello. Looking for me? I don't think you'll have much luck by hey. looking, Samantha. No. You're only going to see what I want you to see. And I have quite a lot to show you. What is going on? Open your eyes. Oh my god. She's quite beautiful, isn't she? What are you doing out there? A beautiful bathing bird. What? What Do you think she has any idea what lies ahead? Do you think these were the last happy moments of this creature's Why are you life? Showing this to me. Why are you watching? Josh! How does it make you feel? Oh my god, what did you do? Fucking brutal. I'm going to give you ten seconds. Nine. No, eight, no, 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 no! Seven. Oh eight, shit. No. Oh shit. Sam. Throw a vase at him. Fuck you. Jump. Don't hide, that is the shittest hiding spot ever. These clothes are really fucking stupid, aren't they? They walk so slow, like. Oh shit, down the stairs. Hide. Okay, I'm gonna put the controller down. There's a don't move with them. The controller's down. Shit! Why are you hiding? Oh god, I had to reach over. Oh fuck. I had to reach over and press the button there, I didn't expect that. Why prolong the inevitable? Stay. Why kid yourself into thinking you can get away? My hands are off the controller. Don't you know I can smell you, Sam? That's fucking weird. I can smell your fear. 
today. Gotcha. Fuck. No. Oh shit. No. That's the fucking bat. Oh shit, that's bad. Pull this. Okay, I'll fucking kill Sam. Well, that's pretty calm. Where's the handle there? At least he could have easily got me. Shit. Glad I left the bat there, that's why. Shit. Oh my god. So every, even like looking at the bat, then like, oh, this is cool. That changed something, like every single time. Oh, this is where we hide, right. Okay, I, was, I think I was supposed to run. I know I was supposed to hide up here, but I thought I could just hide the whole time. I hide. Put the control down and we've saved sound, it's fine. Yeah, this way we need to hide. I thought this was the spot last time, but I put the control down. Shit! Oh my god. Again I had to reach over. Oh shit. It's fine. I'm breathing very really fucking loud. It's fine, there we go. The psychopath. Attack the psycho with a weapon. Well, that certainly didn't go according to plan now, did it? Not really, no. Such careful, brilliant plotting, yet in a crucial moment you are foiled by your own inadequacies. I told you, everything you do has consequences. Do you think this mistake won't have repercussions? What do you do, and what do you say, causes things to change? Yes. Oh, the good work. We did exploring the source of your fear. And you've just gone and used it for ill. Mm-hmm. Your overwhelming fear of isolation. You have turned it against these people who use it desperately want to torment. Has it been worth it? Shit. We were still until dawn. Stop it, you can't do this! What happened? God, we gotta get out of here. I don't understand what happened. There's a maniac. This is insane. We need to go get some help. Hello? Guys? Hello, Samantha. Looking for me? We should look for the others. Mike and Jess are off 69ing each other, and who knows where Sam is. I think she's in the lodge. Why are we still talking about this? Let's go. Hey, look. Fire tower. What is that? Uh, I don't know. <gasps> Alright, this is Matt. Here's the second character in trouble. First do? it was Jess. But we need do? to calmly walk through the deer. Stay calm. Stay calm. Relax. They're just deer. Just want to check us out as well. No, 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 Matt. They're gonna hurt us. Calmly walk through. They'll move. Don't attack it with an axe. That's how you save Matt. For now, anyway. Matt can die here. You don't want to attack the deer. Calmly walk through. Do not attack the deer. It's doing nothing to hurt you. Stay still. It's 
There you go. If you hit the deer, they'll knock you mat off the mountain, and you you have one quick time event. If you fail that, he'll fall off the mountain and die. So, alright, we're playing Emily now. Okay, so we save Matt for now. We can still get Matt killed in a very horrible way. We, we, we don't want that to happen. Try to save all the characters. We go back to the lodge and get everyone else. Oh god, not the lodge. We should stay here in case whoever it is needs to get back in touch with us. Let's get that radio working first. Good idea. I can't see. What is that? It's just a security light. Motion sensor, probably. Okay. Might be a totem. It's like a good place to keep one. Or not. Up the ladder we go to the radio. Oh my god, Matt, move your ass out of the way. Why is the stick saying we should go left and right in any clockwise direction? Just hold the stick up. Oh. There must be a totem here. Don't leave the axe. I'll take it. What are you doing? Take the axe. Fucking leave it there. There's no way what to do. Why is it so windy all of a sudden? We're almost inside. Don't know. It's how weather works. It's unpredictable. In progress. Alright, important decision here. It can get Matt and Emily killed. Or Matt or Emily killed. This playthrough would be much better if I was playing it blind, but also I think a lot of people would have died already by now if I was playing it blind. Just fucking stop pressing all the buttons. You know what you're doing? Just no pressing shit. So, no power. Yeah, it's pretty fucked. Right, important decision here. We come out and we'll find a flare gun. Or it's just a fuse box. Yes, yeah, and there's a, fl a flag on as well. Right, because. Ooh, the radio. Here it is. A very important item. We want this. The emergency flare. Right now. Um. We disagree with Emily's plan, so we could give the flag on to Matt. If we agree with Emily's plan and we give the flag on to Matt, he'll just fire the flare straight up, and then no one gets to use it. I'm gonna probably give Emily the flag on. That way we can save Matt easy, a bit more easily, and let Emily fuck off down the mines with the flare gun. We'll keep the flare gun as Emily, and then... No, we're gonna stove. Don't not, not gonna shoot the flare We keep it. It's gonna help us. If you 
Um, if you get the flag onto Matt, we'll just screw with Emily's plan. Uh, and you go to save Emily, basically this radio tower is going to fucking collapse. And then Emily's could have supposedly died, but we think anyway. You, you get to think anyway. And Matt has just to save her. If you save her, Matt will fall off the tower. And then, if you save Emily without Matt having the flare gun, you will die a horrible, horrible death. So, what's in it? So I want to give Emily the flare gun, and then I'm just going to save Matt. Emily will hate us for it, but I don't care. She's a bitch anyway. Sorry, Hannah. I'm still missing. After tonight, their disappearance is starting to make more sense. Too bad. All right, let's get this tower. Let's bring it home. gonna die. We're up on the mountain. We're on Blackwood Mountain by the ski lodge. There's a killer and he's after us. He's already killed one of our friends. Oh god, please help. You've got to help us. Oh shit. Something tricky. Well, that's no help. We can just fucking leave. Jesus. And go gone. Yeah, oh this bitch God. is coming down. Oh <gasps> In my first playthrough, I got Emily bit by the by the Wendigo. Um. Oh shit. Um. And yeah. Giving him the flare gun will help her defend herself and she won't get bit and then you won't have to go through the whole shoot Emily or don't shoot her, you know, because she could be infected by the bite or whatever, so yeah. Oh shit. I think in my first playthrough I shot the flare gun and then tried to save Emily and then that killed Matt. If you're gonna save Emily, Matt has to have the flare gun. So you can't choose the save Emily option without dying. Already is there. Oh, bitch. It's a very important decision here. Matt does not have the flare gun, so I, if I choose save Emily option, Matt will die a horrible, horrible death. But Emily will hate me though, so we did try to save her. Yeah, Matt can die here, so we got to be careful. I'm 
coming. And this right. is pretty unsteady over here. Matt, you've got to do something right now. She's going to hate you me for this. Sure. I was thinking. But. Let me think. Don't think, you idiot. Just get me out of here. Supportive. Emily. Just if you press, I saw you with Mike. Calm down. It'll reveal that when they were getting friendly on the trail at the beginning of the game, they actually had sex and she cheated on Matt. So, yeah, if you choose that dialogue, she'll basically admit to getting too friendly with Mike. So, yeah, that's why I said at, at the beginning, Mike is a bit of a dick because it's Mike's fault as well. He cheated on Jessica and screwed Matt over. Press, don't move. Yes. I'm gonna try and get to you and pull you up. That's why I'm not I'm not a fan of Mike as much as I am the other characters. I still like Mike, but it's a bit of a dick. Right, jump to safety. She's gonna hate me, but she's gonna hate me, but she's got the flare gun. She'll be fine. If you give Matt the flare gun and you pick save Emily, you can save Emily and. Kind of, you know, she won't hate you. Jump to safety. If I pick save Emily without the flare gun, Matt will, as I said, die a very bad death. Emily! Basically, to keep it short, it's a dead by daylight death. Chucks Matt's throat on a hook and he bleeds out. It's horrible. So you don't want to do that. Emily's got the flare gun. She'll be fine. She now hates me, but we've saved Matt she for now, and Emily's fine for I now. Know, I didn't see her. She, must have <laughs> she survives. I haven't seen her either. All right, we're Ashley. <gasps> oh, bitch! Did that just happen? Damn it! What is going on? No, I don't think it did. Chris, is that what? Chris, I just want to. I have a lot of knowledge of this game because I've watched a lot of like videos in this oh, game, so I know like the cool Easter eggs and no, kind of whatever. Be, I mean, well, not like Easter eggs, but. Like I said, like, if you killed Matt, you'd find his boot and stuff, and I know like, a bit of the backstory. I, I really do like this game. That's why I wanted to do a playthrough of it. Well, the beach photo. Joseph's lovely sisters, Hannah and Beth, looking great, guys. Oh, that's nice. Ash, you alright? Yeah, I just... I know. Look at this. Chris, what happened here? I'm no forensics expert, but it looks like it was thrown. Yeah. I did that. We have a cinema room? This lodge is fucking great. Oh, bad. What <laughs> right, guys, we're gonna leave that episode there. Thank you for watching. I'm going to carry on with more until dawn soon. Uh, stay tuned. And yeah, see you in a bit.